Hi, welcome to my watercolor painting today. Today we are painting pomegranate. I already have a pre drawing for our project. So let's begin. First, let's apply clear water to the whole pomegranate. The first color that we need to apply as our base is the yellow ochre. We choose this color because our setting is on the shaded area. Next, we're going to spread crimson red nicely. We start lining out the color around the fruit and work the straight to the middle. We are going to use sponge to help spread an even color to our fruit. And from there, we have to work spreading the color up and down using our brush. One of my favorite parts of every painting is working wet on wet. I love seeing those colors that run through my paper. Put more color to the left side of our pomegranate. It has more shades, that means we have to darken the color. The other technique you can use in your shading is adding blue to darker areas. Now it's time to put red and brown spots to our pomegranate. I already have a pre-cut paper for my pomegranate, so when I shake this brush to make splashes, it will protect the surrounding areas. After the brush, put dots manually and spread the dots around the area evenly. If you notice that those spots were faded when dry, you need to reapply those spots to make it more visible. We also have to put those dark brown spots like bruises. Alright, let's move on to our next pomegranate. This time, this technique is more on dry painting and detailing. Wet the area around the peel and paint a nice thin line around it and let the color bleeds out nicely. We are going to put a hint of blue, purple, pink, and even green to the shaded area, like we are seeing in this picture. Let's start painting the details. The look like red seeds that we are seeing in our pomegranate are not really seeds, but we call it aerials. Inside aerials are seeds that are also edible. This is the part where we have to paint in details meaning we have to spend more time to paint one by one of these aerials. When painting aerials that has a visible seeds, lighten up your painted aerials by lifting the color using your tiny paintbrush. Or use Q-tips, it is very handy. I use bright red color to paint these aerials. While each of our aerials still wet, put a dab of dark red followed by indigo around the shaded area. This time, we are adding colors to redefine shadows onto the white fleshy surface of our pomegranate. Here's another way of doing this. Use sponge and lightly put a yellow ochre and dab it around the edge of the peel. Let's finish up the calyx. It's the bottom part of the pomegranate. Now it's time to work on the plate. We're using blue, a dab of red for a pink wash, red and blue combination to have a purple wash and even a drop of yellow for our shadows. When it is dry, we will repeat the whole process to emphasize the colors and the line of shadows. Now, the aerials on the plate. We are going to repeat the whole process on how we painted the previous aerials. We already have so much ideas and this should be the easiest part. Okay, so we are almost done with our painting. We are now working on our background. We want the background color not far from our main colors of our painting. And these are yellow ochre and red brown colors. Now we keep on working the background shadows and put more intense colors of burnt sienna mixed with some warm sepia. When dry, repeat the same process to have a darker tone. 
We are now to continue finishing our background wall. We will leave a lighter area as a reflection from the sun. Continue working on the background. Add stronger colors of burnt sienna and warm sepia until you feel happy with the result. For finishing touch, clear some colors using your flat brush softly and straight sideways. Do this repeatedly until obvious. This is our sun rays reflection. Okay, our work here is done. Hey guys, I really did enjoy sharing this painting with you. If you want to watch more videos like this, please share and subscribe. Check also my website at Fine Art America and look for Jelly Storms. Thank you for watching.